Now, Nick, uh, what an incredible scene down there in Orlando. I love the open air arenas when it's daylight when it first starts and then, you know, it kind of descends into dusk and then you get all the lights and the fire really shines against that backdrop. How would you say this WrestleMania, WrestleMania 33, compares to others? Uh, I thought it was great. I thought, you know, beginning to end, um, you know, it was seven hours, like you said. The fans certainly got their money's worth. And, um, you know, every single match last night, I really thought, had at least one thing coming out of it that was going to have people buzzing. I mean, you had John Cena's proposal. You had The Undertaker's retirement. You had Rob Gronkowski helping his buddy Mojo <laughs> Raleigh win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. So there was a little bit of everything there. I mean, again, a moment uh, across the board in all the matches. So I, I thought it was very good. And, yeah, the open-air environment certainly doesn't hurt. Yeah, we, we'll go through each of those moments there, but uh, just as far as what you thought Orlando did as the host city of this grand event, what was your takeaway? Uh, Orlando's, you know, used to this. This is not the first time they've done this, obviously. Uh, they're a great host city. Uh, the entire city really gets taken over by WWE. Posters everywhere, signs everywhere, superstars doing signings across, you know, the entire city at different places. Um, uh, I thought it was very well handled. I, I was in Dallas last year and there was 100,000 people. Uh, that was a mess. Uh, I remember everybody getting into the arena very late because of security reasons this year in Orlando. Everybody got shuffled into the arena right on time. They were there for that first match with Neville and Austin Aries.